Hello again, uh, welcome to another unbagging. This one is the, as you can see, Campaigns of Montrose, A Year of Living Dangerously, eight, uh, 1644 to 1645. Minutes to learn, quick to play, historically accurate. Well, we'll farm that out when we play it. Now, as some of you may know, I've done um, battles from this. Uh, this period in 28 mil and uh, Buckhorse Piffle, one of uh, my subscribers, has already mentioned the fact that he remembered them uh, and I, I took them from this book, The English Civil War by Anthony Baker and if we look at this, this is there's uh, James Graham, the Marquis of, Mon Marquis of Montrose um, a brilliant Man, brilliant uh, leader. He could do. He did so much with so little. It was unbelievable the amount of pain he caused the uh, Covenanters, the Parliamentarians in Scotland, for that period of time was just beyond all um, beyond all belief, really. But so there's maps here. There's Montrose's first march. Montrose's first march up to Aberdeen with the maps, etc. His second march, Fiery Castle and Inverlochy. And then the situation in late 1644 and early 1645. So it is a period that I'm really, really interested in. So when I saw this, oh, well, I had to get it. So, it's saying, oh, the map's kind of like sideways on there. Going a bit. But you, you'll see the map shortly anyway. So we've got a map, we've got various points on it, it's point to point map. It tells us it comes with uh, one 11 by 17 inch map, so a nice small footprint again, just 40 dark up counters, 18 campaign cards, that's nine for each, and an eight page rules book. And there's a look at uh, some of the counters. So let's do this unbagging. Now I've seen people unbag these. And they're trying to get everything out of the bag. And I'm going, well, you don't need it. All that is, is a blank front cover. And that's a blank rear cover, just to keep everything in place. You just, just, get, the, just get, the, get the picking contents out. You don't need to drag that thing in and out, trying to rip your bag. Which I've got everything here. Yeah, it's empty. So, we've got... The Campaigns of Montrose. Black and white, but you would expect something like that. I think this I think these sets of games, these small ones, I think they're about twelve pound each. So we've got the introduction, etc. It's not stapled or anything. But again it's a nice big font, so they haven't crammed it in. Um, easy to read, you've got advanced and optional rules which is good and an example of play. Players notes and designer notes, historical notes. So, you know, everything you need there. Let's move them up a moment. Oh, you get a baggie as well for your counters. Here's the counters. Well, let me put it down so my hands aren't shaking and you giving you a headache. So there's the counters. As I said, there's only 40. Very basic. But we've got the leaders. We've got Montrose up here and McCullough with the uh, of the Irish, the Montrose Irish. We've got the Highlanders. And we've got the Covenanter armies, etc. On the back. What's well, not on the back? Little bits and pieces. Covenanter turn, obviously you flip that over. Some reduced units there. So that's the counter sheet. I mean, what is it? about a quarter of a sheet of counters. So I'll put that to one side. We've got uh, a deck of cards, small cards. It's 
smaller than your um, your average plain card pattern if they're open because I've never opened them, they're still sealed. He says knowingly as he tries to get in. That's it. Right, let's put these down. Right, if I put them down with the backs. So we can see there's two different colours. Um, this one, turn this one over. And that is a covenant a card. Tells you what it is, a little bit of artwork, etc. So these these will add a bit of variation to the game because you, you won't know when these uh, covenant cards are going to come out. So let's, Let's have a look at the other deck. There's nine for each. This is the Royalist one. And again, we've got some uh, a picture and some text to tell us if we get some sort of uh, advantage or disadvantage. I think these are a nice touch. I will sleeve these. I have got some of them small, some small um, sleeves to fit these. Mind you, I've got quite a few of these games, so I may have to buy another bag, but I've certainly got enough some bit sleeves for two or three of the games um, and then let's have a look at the map there it is in all its glory Scotland we've come out of it there we are so this is only going to put the top you can see we've got some basic uh, terrain effects charts, various different bits and pieces, the seasons, regions, where you can recruit, where you can't. We've got the year and the month during the campaign up there. We've got various other things, battle results table, what die roll you need. Remember this is a solitaire game. Um, movement track there. Is it? Victory points, Montrose victory, Montrose's victory track, that's what that is. Uh, sequence of play, land routes, it gives you uh, what everything is. Then we've got all the towns, cities, all, all clearly marked. Some of them are blank, but, oh, you can't see where I'm pointing. Some of them are blank, but obviously you, you've got to get from here, if you're going from... In Vareri, you've got to pass through here to get to Staring. So it's all movement points. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be... I'm really looking forward to playing this one. Because I say it's a subject... Uh, subjects I find fascinating. And uh, I'm a big fan of uh, James Graham, the Marquis of Montrose. And all he achieved with so little... The amount of disruption he caused with such little forces against vastly superior forces was, was is just incredible. Probably one of the first and most successful guerrilla leaders uh, in the world. So that's the campaigns of Montrose. A year of living dangerously, 1844, oh, 18, 1644 to 1645. Hopefully, it delivers the goods, because I am really, really looking forward to this one. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.